Beverly Black. And I hope everyone is doing well today. Today I am coming with I am coming to you with the impossible coconut pie. This is an impossible pie. And you can make this pie in the blender. So we're gonna get started. Let me get a little bit out of the way. I just want to welcome everyone here today. And if it's your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I thank you for coming by and checking out this channel. And I pray that you will become a part of this channel. So please watch the video from the beginning until the end and share it out. Share it out with your family and friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, after you watch the video, don't hit that red button before. You need to watch the video, then hit the red button and subscribe. Give it a, a like. You see that like button? Hit that. And please leave a comment so I know that you have watched this video and you've been here. And I would appreciate that. Now this is a very, very easy way to make a coconut pie. It's called the Impossible Coconut Pie. Some people said it started back in the 70s. Some people say it started with the Amish people when they were uh, cooking and baking and they had things left over and they just put it all together and made this Impossible Pie. With this pie, it will make its own little thin crust. It will have the custard in the middle and we'll have a cr crunchy coconut top that is golden brown. So simple, you can use your hand mixer if you want to, to make this pie. But today, I'm gonna mix it all up in the blender. And what this pie needs is four eggs at room temperature, one cup of sugar, one half cup of all-purpose flour, a fourth teaspoon of baking powder, a fourth teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of vanilla, a half a cup of melted butter, two cups of milk, and one cup of coconut. And we are going to put this all in this blender. Here is my two cups of uh, milk at room temperature. The four eggs at room temperature. A half a cup of butter, unsalted, which is one stick of butter, unsalted. <coughs> one cup of sugar. a fourth cup of salt, and a fourth cup of baking powder. Two teaspoons of vanilla. And I put the uh, flour in last because you know the flour sometimes will settle at the bottom. And so I put it in at last so it, it can blend easier half a cup of flour, all-purpose flour, then one cup of coconut. And this is the whole pie. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Get your um, pie dish ready. It says to use a 10-inch pie dish. Spray it in the bottom. Here is my pie dish. It's already sprayed and ready ready to rock and roll. This pie will cook between 45 minutes to an hour. It really depends on your oven. So let's get started. Mixing it all up. It only takes a few seconds.
you can, I, I told you that you can use a hand mixer if you want to. Now, we're gonna take this out of the blender and we're going to pour it into the pie chicken. Trying to get it off so it won't make a mess. it all in the pie shell and I poured it on the camera also okay I made a little mess here bring this down so you can see it and I'm giving I'm gonna put it on a, a baking sheet a baking sheet a baking sheet in case it spills over. Now, when it's baking, it will rise up. It'll be a high, up high and puffy. But as it cools off, it will go down. And that is normal. So you'll see that happening. That will be normal. So go with that. So we're going to bake this for 45 minutes to an hour. And then I will be back. The Impossible Coconut Pie is out of the oven, and it is beautiful. Look at there. Just look. And it has cooled for a little over an hour. Let's cut a slice and see how it looks. That first slice is always the hardest one to get at. Here it is. And it's good. It's still warm, but it's good. A delicious coconut pie and so easy to make. Thank you everyone for coming out today and for watching this video. Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. Why? Because you are his masterpiece. Bye-bye. Heart's desire I'm growing into a fire